Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we'd just do a quick unboxing of the new Eldari Warlocks. Uh, these have come along with a new Eldar release wave, uh, which has the Guardians, Dark Reapers, Morgan Ra and the new Codex. So I thought we'd just do a quick unboxing, take a look at the sprues and the instruction manuals. I'll do a separate build video for these later on. I've also got the Guardian unboxing and Dark Reapers unboxing to come this weekend as well. But Let's have a quick look at the uh, outside of the box first. I've taken the cellophane off because it was playing havoc with my lighting. Um, new plastic kit, so you get two plastic warlocks and there's a couple of weapon options in the box as well. So have a look at the front, we've got one arm outstretched there as I was casting some sort of spell and armed with a witch blade and then this one's got the shuriken pistol and the singing spear. And if we turn it over, you can see that the weapons are actually interchangeable with the bodies. So this one's now got the singing spear and a bear head and this one's got the witch blade. So a couple of different options in the kit, so that's good. But we're not here to look at the box, so let's get it open up and take a look at what we've got. Let's put the box to one side, the instructions. Got our two bases, so 32 mil bases. Let's take a look at the sprue to begin with. So I've got one shuriken pistol. So we've only got one pistol in the kit, which is a bit of a shame. Got four heads, two bare heads, two helmeted. Some nice detail on the torso there. Another one of the bare heads. And then there's the outstretched hand with two fingers as though it's casting some sort of spell. Another one of the heads there, I'll just turn that around. So this one's got a crest on it. And then we've got the witch blade. Uh, unfortunately, you only get one witch blade and only one singing spear in the kit. So if you wanted to arm both warlocks with a singing spear or a witch blade, you can't actually do that with this kit, which is a bit of a shame, considering it's not actually a cheap kit either. Um, it may be compatible with the plastic warlock on jet bike, uh, so that could be an option for kit bashing if you want to take some bits from that. So there's the other torso there, really nice details on that. They're both on um, tactical Eldari rocks. If you're a Space Marine player, you'll know what I mean by tactical rock. It seems to be uh, every single character model's on a rock of some sort nowadays. Um, but some nice details in this. The helmets are really nice in particular. And again, the helmets are probably compatible with the jet bike as well. The uh, Warlock on jet bike. So that's the sprue. Let's take a look at the instructions. Hmm. So, option one, all four heads are interchangeable with each body, so that's good. And then as you can see, we've got a build option of either the fingers outstretched, casting some sort of warp spell or the shuriken pistol and you can equip this one with either the witch blade or the singing spear which will give you that and then option two again all the heads you can choose the pistol or the outstretched hand and this body can also be equipped with either the witch blade or the singing spear so as i said earlier when we we're looking at the sprues it's a shame that you don't get two of each weapon on the sprue and considering the price of these as well uh, if you compare it to the Guardians and the Dark Reapers, uh, it's quite an expensive kit. So if you're looking to buy two of these kits to get two Singing Spears or Witchblade, that is going to be a little bit costly. But nonetheless, it is a really nice kit. We've not had new Plastic Warlocks for a while. In fact, I don't think we've had Plastic Warlocks. We've only had the uh, Metal ones and the Fine Cast ones. So nice that we've got a couple of new options. Um, that's it. I just thought we'd do a quick look at the sprues and the instructions. I've got the Dark Reapers unboxing to come as well as the Guardians unboxing. I'll get those filmed this weekend. I'll do a separate build video for these as well. I might even try and magnetise the weapons, we'll see. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't like it, just leave me a comment, let me know why. Um, if you're not subscribed to our channel, please consider subscribing because I've got plenty more on the way. I'll leave it there. All that's left to say is thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.